Hi everybody, Bus Old Man Phil here. Well, I got some bad news. Uh, this is probably going to be my last video for a while. Uh, my physical health is going haywire and I'm losing my strength and I'm really not able to do this kind of work anymore. So I've put the bus activities on hold for now and I said I wasn't going to say for now because I don't know if this is permanent or not. Anyway, so Glenn and I were over at the church and we did something with the pipe organ there. Ed was having a problem. We didn't get the problem repaired, but we got the problem out of the scene. We located so it. We located it. So this video on the church pipe organ is going to be it for now. Uh, bus stuff probably won't come up again. However, I would enjoy being invited on other bus guys' videos uh, to help them with some advice or procedures. And I do have some electrical work left on Taylor's bus. Other than that, I'm not planning any further bus activities. And there will be another organ video coming up in a month or so when we do the major repairs that we've been talking about. So I've appreciated the almost two years I've been here with you all. It's been great. I've loved the attention. I'm not gonna lie about it. I like the attention. Uh, I'm very insecure. <laughs> so uh, I wanna just say thank you all for your participation with me this last couple of years and uh, Keep in touch with all the other bus stuff. I've discovered a lot of guys involved with these buses. So poke around and find other things. Uh, if you want to stay subscribed, I'd appreciate it. Uh, in case somebody comes up with a great idea for a video, uh, I'll be glad to do it. So if you have any ideas uh, that you'd like me to participate in with you, uh, let me know. My email address is busold man phil at gmail.com so watch this video leave comments give me a thumbs up and all the other stuff you hear and uh i'll see you here and there and we'll talk about this now and then god bless you all and thank you for being with me bye ah but wait there's more and with a shout out to jawtooth an acknowledgement that we liked this bit so much we thought we'd copy it too. <laughs> Here's a, a few of the outtakes and uh, random stuff that we just couldn't get right the first time and thought you might enjoy. And after that, enjoy the video as we uh, poke around at the St. Olaf organ and uh, try and figure out what the problems are. Hi everybody, Bus Old Man Phil here. This is possibly going to be my last video clip for a while. Uh, and now that will conclude our test. Hi everybody, Bus Old Man Phil here. Well, this is probably going to be the last thing I do for a while. The St. Stephen's Organ Project will the go Olaf. on later, but... We'll... You said St. Stephen's, the St. Olaf oh, Organ. Oh, St. Olaf. All right, start <laughs> over. Ah, it. but wait, there's more! Well, of course there always is. You want to see some weird outtakes? Here they are. Ah, but wait. Oh. Ah, but wait. Okay, there's more. Ah, but wait. There's more. Well, of course there always is. You want you want to see more than one take of anything? Here you are. Okay, let's see if we can find it. Kind of overwhelming. Is there a quieter? Mm -mm. Um, I guess not. No. Good 
down to the choir? I don't want to go across the room. I no, want no, to... the choir is over here. No, I want to... Oh. Oh, it is in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. The spits. Down the bottom? That's the same one you got. Go down more? Uh, what is it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's a good one, then. We'll use that. If you pull these two out here... I don't want to make a lot of noise. See? It's out of tune. Same pipes on out of tune. Is that the same wind yeah. chest? Okay. Same set of pipes. Okay. The C's in the principal rank. In this particular organ, that's the eight foot diapason. I'll explain feet and inches later. sound somewhat similar an octave apart. These sound somewhat simpler, simpler, similar an octave apart. Somewhat similar an octave apart. All right, so we will consider that this is the basic note, the middle C of the principal organ. And now, we're going to turn on the Gedeckt, which has their middle C is off. Listen. Now, if I turn the diapason off, you hear that? That sounds like C sharp, which means that that Gedeckt pipe, you see the C? And the C-sharp sound the same, which means that the C is a half a note sharp. So we need to adjust this pipe by making it longer so it pitches lower, a half a note lower. As you may notice, we also have a pipe that's stuck open, which is called a cipher in organ talk. So we have two problems in the eight-foot Gedeckt rank or organ stop. So we'll go up in the chamber and we'll see if we can find that problem. And Ed will stay down here and hold that key while we go up, find the pipe, and see if we can tune it. Leather's gone off of it. It's not going to tune it. See why I had to quit this business? I'm too shaky.
No, we ain't gonna do it, Ed. It ain't gonna go. Okay. Yeah, okay. We're not gonna be able to tune that pipe because the leather cap around the tuning plate is deteriorated. It's dried up and crumbled away. That has to be re-leathered to create a good wind seal so that we can tune it to the pitch it's supposed to be. So for now, I just have it set so it's not sounding at all or speaking at all. And uh, the organist will need to use another rank with a sound similar to that one to complete his composition. Now the next problem is a pipe that's speaking all the time. And we're gonna find that one. Go ahead, Ed, get it to cipher. And now we need to locate that one. Is that the cipher? Yeah. Well, it'll be easy to find. Well, that's enough for the organ work today. We discovered two problems. First, one note sticks, you heard that. Or no, that isn't the first. The first one was the note that's out of tune. And uh, like I mentioned before, that disc that's inside that square pipe needs to be re-leathered because the tuning level keeps sliding down, knocking that pipe out of tune. So I'm gonna bring back some thin leather and redo that. Then the other problem was that high note sticking, and uh, that's a broken leather that's letting air through all the time. So all I did was just take that pipe out of its socket. There's not enough wind blowing through there to be heard. So I just laid that pipe down. I think, uh, I think uh, Glenn recorded that. So that's it. We're going to finish up, and then Ed would like to present the organ and play a familiar old American tune. So thanks for watching. Leave comments and all the other stuff you hear it say. A thumbs up doesn't hurt either. Bye. What are you going to do, Ed? I'm going to play Oh Beautiful for Spacious Skies. Ah, but wait, there's more. Turn the camera on, Sonny, and aim it at the organist. Welcome back. The big project for this organ is to have some of the re leather redone. It's dried out, it's, it's 60, 70 years old. So we're hoping to have the wind chests for the great and choir division re-leathered, which will get rid of a lot of our dead notes. And also we're hoping to have the regulator or bellows or wind supply for the great and choir keyboards, manuals, uh, re-leathered to get rid of all the air leaks. So it gives it more support and more of a solid foundation with the wind pressure. So that's our next project. Thank you very much for joining us. See you again. <laughs>